All right, so this morning I was uh, getting ready to sell my RM80s. I sold them already, and they got all wet because it rained out earlier because I brought them out from storage, and I uh, got them ready, and I was going to dry them off. My leaf blower wouldn't start. So later on in the day, I was like, hmm, I wonder why it wouldn't start. I was going to fill it up with some gas and uh, see what the problem was. But the fuel line actually rotted out. And uh, <clears throat> this was what I found inside the gas tank. Just a uh, piece of filter and line. And you can see this is just real easy to break. So we got a new fuel line. And I'm going to go get another one. And we're going to change both lines just to be safe. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is removing the fuel lines. Now these can become stuck to the carburetor and can be a nuisance. So the easiest way to remove them is to splice the line with a sharp knife and then it'll just slide right off. Okay so now you're going to notice three screws. One here, one here, and one in here. Now you're going to want to take out these three screws as we're going to be removing the fuel tank. At this point you may just want to set the leaf blower to the side as we will be no longer needing now it. Now that we've got the fuel tank separate, this will make the job a lot easier to perform. First of all you're going to want to cut each of the fuel lines on an angle so that it will make it a lot easier to enter the fuel tank. Just like so. Now you're going to want to take the fuel line and shove it into the hole on the fuel tank and twist and push at the same time. It may take a while to do but you'll eventually get it. Once you get the fuel line in far enough you can pull it through with a pair of needle nose pliers. We'll cut off the tip and reconnect the fuel filter. Now push the fuel filter back into the tank. Now you're going to have to repeat the process with the other fuel line. Once you get the fuel line through, remember to connect the end. Now you may pull the larger fuel line back through as it is not needed only for priming. So now you're going to want to reconnect the fuel tank. Alright, so now you can go ahead and cut the fuel line to the appropriate length. Always remember, the primer line goes to the top part where the primer bulb is, and the fuel delivery line always goes to the bottom where the diaphragm is and the main needle and seat. Also, when you're installing these, don't forget to install this little fuel line hugger, I guess you could call it, because it hugs the two fuel lines together but always remember like I said top line goes to the uh, primer and which would go to the shorter part of the line inside the longer part with the fuel filter will go to the bottom to go to the main needle and the diaphragms now I guess you should uh, prime up your machine get some fuel flowing through it put it on choke get some throttle and give it a pull. Job well done. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you out with your Featherlight Weed Eater Leaf Blower, as well as this can also help you out with replacing the fuel lines on other small engines such as weed trimmers, hedge trimmers and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a good one. Bye.